Okay, on to last section, uh, chapter eight, the quadratics section. So let's have a look at this question here. Well, first of all, if I look at this, okay, x squared equals 100. Now, what do you think, what times what makes 100? Okay, well, it's 10 times 10. Okay, so 10 times 10 is 100. But don't forget that negative 10 times negative 10 is 100, all right? So if I just write something like this, what is the square root of 100? We say it's 10, okay? But if it's coming from this, all right, x squared equals 100. Now I have to square root both sides to get to the answer, okay? Remember, square is square root, square root is square, okay? So this will give me x equals 10, but actually it also give me x equals negative 10, okay? So when I square root 100, I'm not just kind of saying what is the square root of 100, okay? When it's come from an x squared and I have to square root both sides to get to the x, it's actually plus or minus 10 because think about it. Negative 10 times negative 10 is positive 100. So negative 10, in the words if that's the x, all squared is 100, okay? So that's like me saying, okay, x squared equals 100. So x can be negative 10 as well as positive 10, okay? So if you go back to the previous section, that is us just saying the square root of 100 is 10. That's the principal square root. But actually, um, when it's come from an x squared equation, okay, that x can be negative 10 as well. It's like saying, okay, the square root of 100 is not only 10, it's negative 10 as well, okay? So um, how about this one down here? Okay, so again, if I square root of both sides, I'll get x equals right. Okay, the square root of 96, but again, it's going to be plus and minus. There's going to be a positive answer and a negative answer. We can write it like that. Now, 96, what times what makes 96? Okay, it is 16. So now you're going back to what we did in the previous section. Okay, is it 16 times 6? Okay, which is 4 root 6. Okay, but don't forget plus or minus 4 root 6. Okay. Now then, how about some other ones where you've actually got to do a bit of algebra? So let me just erase some of this. Okay. Um, well, I'll just leave that one at the top. Now have a look at this one. Okay. Now then, for this one, if you add 3 to both sides, okay, all you get is x squared equals 3. Okay, that's all you get. If you square root of both sides, you'll have x equals, remember, when you square root an x squared, you get back to the x. Uh, all you have is root 3. That's all I can see there, root 3. Okay, when I square root of 3, but don't forget the plus and the minus. Okay, I'll do one more. So I'll leave that there. Because again, very similar to question two, but this time I'll be taking away a 49 from both sides. Okay, take away 49. Right, so x squared equals negative 49. Now if I square root both sides to get to the answer, so that'll give me the x. Now look what's gonna happen on the right hand side. That, remember, is seven I. Okay, remember that's a negative number, but still plus and minus. Okay? 7i times 7i will give you negative 49, but so will negative 7i times negative 7i. Okay, so just remember always that little uh, plus or minus thing. Okay, just like up there as well. Okay, so I'll leave it there. That's just you square rooting numbers. Okay?